so what you need is digital scarcity, right? You need something that is, um, you know, both scarce, i.e. you can't create more of it just at a whim, uh, and we can operate it digitally because it means you can transact with it and build on top of it, you know, all of the amazing things that we have uh, with computing, with the internet that we've um, managed to build over the last couple of decades. So the way that that's traditionally been done is through having these things called centralized ledgers, right? So we, we give the information to one party that we trust. We know that they're not gonna carry on copy and pasting this, these 10 pound notes. Uh, and as a result, uh, we're able to have digital scarcity. But the problem with that is that firstly, you've got to trust the centralized entity. And sometimes they're not quite as trustworthy as you know, we think they might be. And, uh, and secondly, you know, because they run, the, um, they run that list or they run that database, uh, in order to innovate on anything, in order to change anything to, to run any experiments, you've got to go get permission from the group of people who run that. Right? And, uh, and that's often very hard because sometimes some of the best ideas uh, often sound very stupid. Uh, in a committee. Um, you know, my favorite example of this is Encarta versus Wikipedia, right? So Encarta, you know, Microsoft, one of the biggest and, and most valuable companies in the world at the time, um, was able to create the, the source of truth for an encyclopedia, right? Because, uh, you know, it's very important that that encyclopedia is correct, and therefore we've got to keep it under strict control. Well, Wikipedia said, well, let's just kind of let anyone have a crack. Right, which in, in, in front of any boardroom, I suspect would sound pretty stupid. Um, but because the internet was an open ecosystem, they, they were able to create it. And over time, guess what? You know, the open ecosystem has out innovated the closed one. So going back to the first three words that I said, distributed digital scarcity, right? Being distributed means that you can have that open ecosystem uh, to innovate and to experiment and to run things in a trustless way uh, for things that need to be both digital and scarce. 